Hey guys, it's Mark and I got another perfect for you. Before we get in a quick perfume review, I just would like to give you some uh, advices what you would use or what you would not use if you're planning to buy perfume to someone as a gift or you're planning to buy perfume for yourself. All right. So first things first, um, the, before you start to thinking about buying the perfume, uh, the first thing what you should do is uh, make sure you know the personality, the whole environment, the uh, lifestyle of the person who you plan to surprise. After this, if you if you have uh, uh, an idea, what kind of perfume would you buy? Uh, try to go to the uh, in a subscription section link where you can find those all those links where you can get extra information, extra knowledge of the perfume. This is not the uh, not a, a sponsored video, so I'm not leaving these links. Uh, below the video in the subscription section because because I just want to promote them now These are the links and the website what I use if I buy a, a present or if I use uh, These as well if I if I buy a present for someone else or for myself So I use exactly the same websites to get some extra information of the fragrance what I'm planning to buy after you figured out what kind of perfume you'd like to you like to purchase I recommend you to, to go to a store and um, or if you don't have a chance to go to a store just just buy a sample a small sample but first of all the first thing you have to try it so if it's for yourself the job is easy go to a store where you know the perfume is available get the bottle try it close to your skin because you want to to spray the perfume on your skin and you don't want to leave it in the air most of the time actually uh, people when they try perfumes they just spray it in the air or spray it on their skin from from 64 meters distance uh, no don't do this make sure you do it close to your skin leave it on the skin and wait I know most of the staff in a the store they try to have it they try to give you a really good advice but at the end of the line you have to choose you have to decide you're gonna wear the perfume so it has to work really good on your skin with your chemistry with your personality so I recommend you to uh, leave some time for the perfume to make sure it works well or it works bad on your skin but at least it helps you to make a decision I know there are so many different different opinion about where to and how to apply the fragrance. If you're in a store and if you try it uh, first time in your life, I recommend you, and especially if you're planning to buy it for yourself, I recommend you to, to try it on your skin here, on your wrist. Uh, don't apply it on your on your clothes because in the worst case if it's if it's not a good fragrance for your nose, uh, you won't stink and you won't smell bad. So after everything fits together, you like the fragrance, you like the way it works on your skin, go back, find a bottle and, uh, and buy it. Which size you should buy? Well, uh, my opinion is, I would say, I would definitely go with a, with a smaller smaller bottle if you're willing to or if you're planning to uh, leave it in your bag or in your, in your, in your backpack and you want to, to carry with you. If you travel a lot, I wouldn't recommend you to buy a bigger bottle than 100 ml. So I think, in well, my opinion, the best choice is purchasing uh, a bottle between 30 and between 100 ml or max 100 ml. So uh, my recommendation is don't do not use it on your or do not apply the prepared fragrance on your clothes. In the worst case, if you don't like it or if it's not working out for you, you can just you're gonna just just smell bad. You don't want it. The other thing what I, I recommend you, uh, buying smaller bottles, uh, smaller uh, sizes of the perfume, it's easy to, to take it, it's easy to carry with you. When you're flying away, you probably you're gonna have problems with the bottles over 100 ml, but if you're planning to just, just leave it home and just use it for little samples or for travel bottles, do it. From the other side, if you're buying uh, the uh, fragrance as a gift, well, well I think all of us should do is to imagine the person and uh, imagine we just uh, meet only for one minute and uh, try to imagine what kind of, of scent what kind of perfume would fit to that person's uh, personality the, uh, the um, just like I said the lifestyle as well and uh, try to find the, uh, the path of it like let's say in the um, case if you're trying to surprise your uh, 
girlfriend or your, your wife. Uh, imagine her, what kind of perfume would fit or what kind of uh, perfume would describe her after she leaves the room and the remaining scent, the remaining perfume has to describe her. The main, the main fragrance groups for ladies starts with the uh, floral followed by the uh, Chiffre, Chiffre, Cipher, it's really hard to pronounce because it's French, so my French is equal to zero, so sorry about that. The last uh, fragrance group is the uh, Oriental. If you're talking about the uh, the gents section, that starts with the uh, Fougère, second is Cipher as well, or Chiffre, Chiffre, and then the third is Oriental as well. If we thinking about the uh, different groups, the first, the floral, and the uh, the um, the, fur, the floral and the fougere, these are those type of perfumes which uh, won't be really strong. I would say in the ladies version this is uh, morely, more like, a, this is more like a, a flowery, powdery, calm uh, scent or calm perfume. And in the gents case this should be something woody, uh, something which goes really well with uh, what he wears. I, I, would, I would carry on with the Oriental, which is the last part of it in both both groups. The Oriental is the uh, the superstar. So every single time when you smell an Oriental perfume, it's gonna stay in your nose. You can't forget it. Sometimes it's even it's even too much. It could be really sweet. It could be really deep, aromatic. Uh, it could bring you like a, it hits you in the face, literally. So that person when walks in the room who wears Oriental perfume, that person knows what what I want. Uh, it's not a question. She's or he's the leader, and uh, this 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 is the set. This is the scent, strength-wise. I would say from the um, from all the the other all the three um, fragrance groups, which is the uh, the strongest. If you're talking about if you're talking about the uh, the, the the middle part, the uh, cipher, try this a uh, cipher or chiffre. Try to imagine them between the uh, floral or gourmet or the uh, oriental uh, uh, group. So this is the uh, the middle way. So many times when we're talking about perfumes, uh, there's a quite common question which uh, which always comes up: What is the eau de toilette perfume, cologne, extract? What are these? So according to how strong or how uh, how big the percentage or how high the percentage of the alcohol level of these perfumes are contains, we separate four different groups. Strength-wise, and um, I would say, even if you're talking about longevity, the uh, the longest uh, longevity what you have to expect. Uh, that one comes from most of the time from uh, X rates. This is a uh, really thick, really most of the time really really dark shoes. Longevity is just over the roof, like easily over 10 or 12 hours on your skin. Don't even mention the clothes. So uh, if if you choose buying an X rate, prepare your wallet. It's gonna be expensive, but it's gonna be a really long lasting uh, scent on your skin. The, set, the second level is the Eau de Cologne, which, is, uh, which was named after the uh, city of Cologne because, and here's the uh, interesting part, the, the first perfume, officially the first perfume which was mixed with uh, alcohol was made in Hungary. For the, uh, this perfume was made for uh, Queen Elizabeth, who was uh, the uh, Queen of Hungary. Uh, this perfume was made of alcohol, lavender, other other weeds. I don't remember exactly because um, the original recipe was lost, got lost in a, in a history. During uh, during the quarantine or during the last few months, uh, I think so many people was thinking about the holiday. In the uh, first video, I showed you guys the, uh, in my opinion, one of the best niche summer fragrances what you can get on the market now. Um, in this video, I would show you something more uh, applicable in terms of in terms of money. If you're talking about the uh, heavy weight, what the wallet has to carry. This this perfume is uh, really easy to wear. It doesn't matter if it's it doesn't matter if it's morning, daytime, or nighttime during summertime when it's really really hot and you don't even want to use any fragrance because it's just disgustingly hot. Uh, this is the perfume what I would recommend you, and this is what I use if I don't want to wear anything during summertime, and I just I just I just want to smash something on my skin. So, trophy goes to Izumiyaki Puro.
time if you if you see the bottle that looks awesome i'll be honest with you this was the reason why i bought the fragrance because uh, when i smelled it first time i didn't really like it for me it was unusually uh, or not even just unusually weird or fresh so it's like when you go to a store and you smell this first time in your life it's just something unusually fresh literally every single time when i put it on my skin it feels me it gives me gives, gives me the feeling like i had a I, I just had a shower summertime is really critical in terms of the uh, of the perfumes because wearing something really heavy like um, like oody really deep really sweet like let's say i would never ever i would never ever wear this perfume but um, as soon as the weather gets a bit colder and it's turning to to winter best choice so, so when i purchased this bot when i purchased this bottle i really i really hated the juice in it the reason why i bought this, this was the it was the bottle it's really uh, plain really clean design it's just the uh, simplicity and freshness in this bottle uh, when you when you go out when you go to to, to party and you want something you want to wear something really catchy but not something like it stays in your nose for hours or for days uh, you just want to smell fresh you just want to smell good but you don't want to spend that much money or like over uh, 30 30 or 40 pounds i would go with this one applying a perfume is always a good question where to how much should i use uh, well i tell you what i do i use a lot the purpose of the perfume is not to smell it from from like in front of your face um you you feel yourself amazing if you if you get a compliment from someone like oh man you smells good and imagine the opposite situation where someone says man you should have a shower at the end of the video in the subscription below i will leave some links what i use to purchase my perfumes and uh, what i use to purchase my little samples so uh, use those give them a chance use perfumes even if you even if you're not a huge fan of it because if you find your signature scent if you find something what can change your 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 mood your day on a positive way i would say buy the perfume buy the scent because um, it literally it can be a, a lifetime partner or a life lifelong partner uh, if you find your signature scent which suits on you i'd like to thank your presence your patience if you liked the video please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to follow us you can reach us on the uh, twitter and on the instagram as well take care wash your hands see you in the next one i almost forgot something um huge fan of the john wick trilogy and first time in my life when i watched the uh, the first part he was drinking something no sorry yeah he was drinking something and i tried to find it and as soon as i figured what was it I had to purchase it so this was as you see there's not much left in the bottle uh, because uh, it's an amazing brandy i think this is one of the smoothest i've ever tried and um, so yeah in Ocha, this is the uh, blanton's bourbon look at this lid this is amazing this is john Wee's bourbon you get a try